Hi, this is Tara Marina with Elegant Femme. And I want to talk to you about something pretty, um, what should I call it? I was going to call it heavy, but it's not heavy. <laughs> In fact, it's an opportunity to be really, really light. What would it be like if you let yourself be skinny? Now, that might sound like a funny question, right? The majority of women I talk to say, of course. I want to be skinny. Now let me, before we, before we go into this, I'm going to tell you in a minute what I really mean by skinny. I'm going to talk to you about why the majority of women don't let themselves be skinny and one thing that you can do today that will allow you to move in that direction and it's not what you think. All right. So first of all, let me define, with, define for you what I mean by skinny. I'm not talking Kate Moss skinny. Okay. I'm not talking unhealthy. I'm talking very healthy and very gorgeous and very beautiful. So how, so right now where you are in your life right now, the scale, the gamut, right? Have you ever thought to yourself, you know, what if I could have a better body? And I don't mean just a little bit of a better body, but actually let yourself have that body. You know, that thin, beautiful, gorgeous body that you've been desiring and wanting that always feels like <gasps> right there. And I talk to so many women around the world, and I don't care what size you are, the majority of women have this going on in their heads no matter what size they are. There was a big part of my past where I struggled from an eating, with an eating disorder and it wouldn't matter what size my weight was, what the scale said, it was always, oh, if I could just be a little bit more, okay? So it doesn't matter where you are on the scale right now, I want you to go inside and really hear what it is I'm saying. The first thing I want to address with you is why. Why do the majority of women not let themselves be skinny, okay? So here's how it used to go for me. Let me tell me if you can relate to this. I'd start to think about my body and start to say, you know, I want to be a little bit thinner, right? I want to feel really good. I want my legs looking a certain way. You know, you know what we do. And it would start to happen. And I remember one distinct moment. I was actually in the bathroom and I was shaving my legs and I looked down and my legs were starting to look like what I wanted them to look like. And there was this little voice back here that said, oh, I guess that's good enough. And I started to, almost right after that shower, started to eat crap again. And I was thinking, well, why did I do that? Why did I almost let myself get to where it was I wanted to go? And then I stopped. I started self-sabotaging. Have you ever done that? You start allowing yourself to look the way you want to look, and then something happens. All of a sudden, you start moving in the other direction. I want to tell you why it happens for us as women. There's a couple of different reasons. We are afraid that if we allow ourselves to have the body that we want, someone else will be upset about it. Maybe it's a sibling, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's even your mom. Okay, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go there. Someone around you, especially a female, you're worried about offending her that if you actually allow yourself to step into your beautiful, gorgeous, skinny body. That's one reason. Another reason is we're afraid sometimes of what will happen when we get there. What will that intention, attention look like if we allow ourselves to have that gorgeous, skinny body? And maybe you've had this one. This one used to be one of mine in the back of my head. Well, if I get there and I allow myself to be skinny, what will I, what will I work on after that? What will I complain about? Okay? So I want you to be real with yourself if you're having any of those kind of thoughts inside. That's really normal for us. Now, let me tell you the mistake that we make and how it is we can turn this around for ourselves as women. Now, the number one mistake that women make when it comes to allowing ourselves to be skinny is that women relate being skinny to a Frenchy situation. Now, if you're not familiar with the Frenchie, the Frenchie is the femme type that is responsible for your body image, for your relationships, for beauty. So yes, I said, well, body image. So you might be thinking, well, of course, Tara, then it is a Frenchie situation, right? Your Frenchie is responsible for the desire to be skinny, okay? She's the one that wants to be skinny, that desires to be skinny, that desires to wear the gorgeous clothes and feel gorgeous in her body and show off her body, right? But the desire to be skinny is not where it begins, and it is not the only part of the equation. You need something else. You not only need the desire to be skinny, you require the permission to be skinny. And this is the part that the majority of women miss. The permission to be skinny doesn't come from your Frenchie. It comes from your indie. Your indie is the femme type that allows you to be calm and connected and is associated with your self-worth. You require your indie femme type. You require the permission to be skinny, not just the desire. So if you've ever found yourself doing this, you're saying, I don't understand. I want to be skinny so bad. I want to look this way. I want to wear the beautiful clothes. I want to shine my light. I want to be beautiful. But then you find yourself acting out in other ways, overeating, 
sneaking, self-sabotage, and you get really angry with yourself. Like, I say I want it, but why am I not doing it? Because the piece that's missing for you is the permission to be skinny. You need to start with giving yourself permission to be skinny. That's where this whole thing begins, all right? So the guilt that you've been feeling about wanting to be beautiful and skinny, right? The self-sabotage that's been happening, I want you to know it's totally normal because you haven't ignited your indie in this process. So here's what I want you to do today. I want you to take one step towards giving yourself permission to be skinny, and it's gonna start with your indie. So I actually want you to journal today. You're thinking, body image journal, this is gonna help me to be skinny? It really is. How do I know? It's worked for me, and all I can do is share with you what's absolutely worked for me. I no longer focus and worry about being skinny. It just happens for me. It's just how I live now. Why? Because I've given myself permission to be skinny. And then I take my desire with my Frenchie to a whole new level. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to journal, can I let myself be skinny? And I actually want you to journal it out. I don't just want you to think about the question and go around today, hmm, can I let myself be skinny? Can I, I want you to sit down with a piece of paper and write on the top, can I let myself be skinny? And I want you to spend about 15 to 20 minutes answering that question. You're gonna get a lot of clarity on what's been going on underneath the scenes and why up until now you have not given yourself permission to be skinny. So that's where I want you to start. And I wanna invite you to leave a comment below. And I want you to answer this question. What would it be like if you let yourself be skinny and you no longer had to worry about this? What if this part of your life was taken care of and you could go on to the rest of your life that's waiting for you and be skinny in the process? What would that be like for you? So again, the question is, what would it be like if you could allow yourself to be skinny and no longer worry about this part of your life? I want you to share that below. This is a big thing for us as women. I want you to know I've been there and I'm now on the other side and I want you to join me here, all right? So this video is absolutely for your indie and your Frenchie gets to reap the rewards. And I wanna tell you something else before we go. I want you to stay tuned because I'm gonna be releasing something really, really big very shortly and I want you to keep your eyes open for that. Okay, so remember, leave a comment below. What would it be like for you to be skinny? And what would it be like if you didn't have to worry about that part of your life anymore? I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.